Hey everybody, this is Todd Hurt, product manager at West Penn Wire at our West Penn Wire workshop. Um, going to uh, explain the differences between our CCTV co coaxial cables, serial digital coaxial cables, and CATV coaxial cables. First thing to recognize on coaxial cables is there's an RG in front of it. That RG stands for either radio guide or radio grade, depending on who you talk to. There is a number after that, either a 59, a 6, or an 11. So an RG59 is a 20 gauge, an RG6 is an 18 gauge, and an RG11 is a 14 gauge. Now I say these RG, but these are all types, RG59 type. The RG radio guide radio grade is an old military spec uh, that was created back in the 1950s. These are a type of design similar to those designs uh, of early coaxial cables. So when you're specifying an RG cable, RG6, we have to um, make sure what application it goes into. RG6 can be a CCTV, a CATV, or a digital cable design. So when specifying an RG6, make sure you clarify what the application is. RG6 CCTV or RG6 CATV. Now looking at the design, and it comes down to the design of the cable because, uh, again, you can specify an RG6, you can specify an RG59, but as the manufacturer, we have to know what the application is to fit that cable into that application you're requesting. A CCTV cable is a baseband cable. Frequency ranges from 1 to 10 megahertz in most systems. It utilizes a bare center conductor. The reason is because it's a low frequency. All the electrons that's transmitted from point A to point B in that coax are floated throughout the whole center conductor. The dielectric can either be foamed or solid insulation. Here at West Penn, we foam 95-98% of our coaxial cables uh, because we're very efficient at it and by foaming uh, a coaxial cable will reduce its capacitance and increase its velocity of propagation, some electrical characteristics. The shield is where uh, it is important for all the design. In a CCTV we use a 95 percent copper braid. Uh, the reason is because number one um, we need to have a good return path or a ground path and a low DC resistance, that's why we utilize bare copper on the braid. Also, a braid shield will give you the best protection against any EMI, which is low frequency noise, trying to penetrate into that cable, disrupt its video. Now let's jump down to CATV. CATV cables, or our cable television, is a higher frequency, between 62 megahertz up into the gigahertz, so it's a higher frequency. The center conductor that's utilized can either be a bare or a copper-covered steel center conductor. Um, a lot of times we utilize copper-covered steel because of the frequency range, uh, range, the electrons inside that center conductor become magnetized and shoot to the outside of the center conductor and travel down the outside of that center conductor. This is called skin effect. And that's why we can utilize a less expensive copper-covered steel center conductor in a CATV cable. But we do utilize bare copper uh, for a lot of design in CATV because um, for satellite dishes and for other uh, applications that the whole center conductor is needed to carry the electrons. The dielectric, again, it's a foamed insulation. The shield, this is where uh, the differences come in. We use a 100% aluminum foil, which is a, the best protectant or protector against any RFI or high frequency noise penetrating into the cable. And then we use a low percentage aluminum braid. Aluminum, we use aluminum here because CATV cables are an inexpensive cable. We have to make them inexpensive uh, because of the, uh, the volume that's being used. So we use an aluminum braid and uh, aluminum is less expensive. But look at the coverage, only 45 to 65 percent. And the reason is because we're not really worried about the EMI or low frequency noise penetrating and disrupting our video. Other CATV cable designs, we have tri-shield and we also have quad shield. Uh, a lot of residential builds are using quad shield cables today uh, because of the shield effectiveness 
uh, of that, and it has four shields on it. Now looking at a C SDI digital cable, again, it utilizes a bare center conductor. The insulation is a foamed uh, insulation. It can be uh, a solid dependent if it's a precision, but again, 95, 98% of our cables are foamed. Now here's where the differences lie. We utilize a 100% foil similar to the CATV design. The reason is because we want to block out any high frequency noise penetrating. And then we also utilize a 95% tin copper braid. The reason why we don't use a bare copper braid here is because a bare and the tin are two opposing metals that will corrode each other. But by using a 95% tin copper braid will give us a low DC resistance similar to a CATV design. So an SDI cable is the best of both worlds. It gives you the best protection um, for low frequency and high frequency. And this is the differences between CCTV, SDI, and CATV coaxial cable design.